all of the places that you need to go to are under the Go menu. Desktop, Home, Applications, and Utilities. And their shortcut is Command, Shift, and the beginning of their name. So D for Desktop, H for Home, A for Applications, and U for Utilities. And the beauty of these shortcuts is they work everywhere. So if I'm here in this folder and I want to see the desktop, I can use this icon or Command Shift D. Or if I want to export this movie from QuickTime, Command Shift D and it will show me the desktop. Many people might want to see their desktop when their space is cluttered, something like this. And you may want to see your desktop immediately. To do that, you can come to Apple menu, System Preferences, Trackpad if you are using a trackpad, More Gestures, and do something like this. You can come to Mission Control and add your own shortcut. All of your applications inside a Mac are here under the Go menu and Applications folder or Command Shift A. And there's an easier way to access your applications and it's called Launchpad. If you're using Lion, you should have it right in here. It's called Launchpad. If it wasn't here, you can drag it to here. And from now on, with one click, just one click, you can have access to your applications. The other folder that is very useful in here is Home. And the shortcut for it is Command Shift H. You can add your own folders in here. And because you can access it from anywhere by using Command Shift H, it could be very useful as well. If you open a few applications like this, Windows will overlap. And if you don't want to see anything else other than the app that you're working with, you can simply come to here and hide others. Or if you wanted to hide this application, come to here and hide Safari or use Command H. But there's another shortcut for this and that is if you alt click on other apps. So if I'm using Safari and I alt click on QuickTime, not only it will show me the QuickTime but it will hide Safari as well. If you alt command click on any app, everything else will be hidden. So if I have a window like this and another one like this and another one like this, if I now Alt Command click on QuickTime Player, everything else will be hidden. Some applications have an extra icon in here and it's called Full Screen. It will send this page to a new full screen page or window. So how could this be useful? Well, let's say I have seen four minutes of this TED talk, but something comes up and I have to do it immediately. But I don't want to close this movie. So I can actually click on this and send this to a full screen window and if I want to read this later I can do this for this page and later go back to this page and read it or go to this movie and watch it. To switch between these full screen pages you can use control left and right arrow on your keyboard or if you're using a trackpad you can use these gestures and when you're done you can exit full screen mode by clicking on this icon and this full screen page will turn into a window. There's a fun way of looking at every open application and document with just one shortcut. The shortcut for it is control up arrow key and it's like looking at everything inside your system from the top view. So now if I wanted to I can just highlight any of these windows hit the spacebar and if this is the page that I'm looking for I can click on it or again spacebar and it will go back to where it was and in this mode if I wanted to I can send any of these pictures or movies to a new desktop so I can drag this to here and a new desktop will be created for me now this is not a full screen window this is a new desktop if you wanted to close this desktop, click on this and it will be gone. Now, if I hide the preview application, when I go to Mission Control, the preview application will not be shown in here. 
And if you're using a trackpad, you can use this gesture to have access to your mission control. Another great feature is this app expose. And you can have access to it like this, or you can use the keyboard shortcut control and down arrow key. So if mission control shows everything, app expose will show every open document inside this application and the recent documents that have been opened. Now if I select any of them and minimize an app expose, now it will show in here like this. The icon is a little different and this means this document has been minimized. Now the greatest thing about this app expose is you can use it even if the application is not open. So let's close the QuickTime and now I'm going to app expose Safari. If I single click on any application that supports recent files like text edit, preview, or QuickTime, I can easily and quickly have access to my recent files without opening any of these applications. And if you wanted to change the shortcut for it, you can come to System Preferences, Mission Control, and in here you can assign your own custom shortcut to Mission Control or Application Windows. If you select a file or folder, Get Info or Command I will show you some information about it. So if I wanted to see how many items I have in my Ads folder, it is in here, 25,000. 728 and the size it's 162 gigabytes and if you wanted to open your let's say mp3s from now on with vlc instead of itunes you can select vlc in here and change all to eject an external hard drive or a flash card come to file eject or a shortcut for it, Command E. When I'm dragging a file or folder, if I hold on the Option key, a plus icon will appear and it means that I am copying these files. Now, if I want to move them, I can hold down the Command key and they will be moved to here. The move is here as well. Command C for copy and Command Alt V and they will be moved to this folder. And if you hold down Option and Command key, it will create a shortcut. And if you wanted to see the original file, you can simply come to here and choose Show Original or use the shortcut Command R. If you Command click on the file's name in here, it will show you the path and you can open this folder. And it works everywhere. So if I'm in here and Command click on this it will show me that it's in my movies and in my movies folder and if you click on this icon and drag it to anywhere it will create a shortcut and if you hold down the alt key it will copy this file for you so if I wanted to I can directly copy this file to this flashcard just like this okay we're gonna finish with setting and system preferences if you're switching from Windows this is like your control panel and these items are pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to talk very quickly about two of these. If you're an international user, you can add your own keyboard layout from here, input sources, and you can simply click on any of these layouts. And if you click on this icon, it will be shown in here. I'm from Iran, so I added Persian, and yeah, that explains the funny accent. So. <laughs> Anyway, the other thing that might be very useful is in the keyboard and in here, keyboard shortcuts. Okay, this is it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Amir Azizi and until next time, bye-bye.